Hey, there we go. How we doing, everybody? Let's, uh, let's pull up the news and see what's going on today. Yes, uh, NFL. I was I should I probably should have had this ready beforehand, but you know me, slacking, slacking, slacking. Not really. I'm a. Uh, uh, I just put them on autopilot. Went through. Went sure. I wanted all the bright people. I'm doing like nine drafts right now. On top of the. Th- 40 drafts I've already done, and I have another 30 or 20 to do tonight. It's been a long day of drafting. Superflex will be done tonight or tomorrow morning, however long this takes. And then we'll be done with Superflex, and then we're going to move over. Probably do some rookie sophomores. I really don't know how many more of those I'll do. And then uh, work on some Zambonis and, uh, and some Zambonis. And. And then work on drafters because drafters is that seems to be more my more my speed there. So okay, well let's get into this. We got another three wide receivers we want to do today. We're going to do try as you can see the title: uh, Ty Freifogel, uh, Isaiah Weston, and Bellis Bellis Jones. So we're going to get those three done today, and let's, let's get it going. Uh, I was going to look up the news. That's what I was. That's why I'm not getting it going yet. Sorry for the false information. NFL.com app. What's the top storylines? Schrager had a really good mock draft today. Jarvis Landry visiting the Saints today. Oh, that's big. I like that. I like that fit. As a two short handed guys. If uh, Mike Thomas comes back with no, like, Secondary effects that'd be great. Uh, Lich, the GM for the Bucks, says have no extension talks with Brady. The man is 45 years old. I wouldn't either. Uh, Panthers re- OC retracts calling Darnold starting quarterback. Ooh, oh, that's not good. <laughs> Murray won't attend cards, voluntary workouts. Not a surprise. He's He's a diva. MJD ranks top 36 ref running backs. Who's a day one starter? Okay. Um, Stafford injury update. Uh, Washington host wide receiver and running back. Rico Collinsworth Stark on NFL Sunday night NFL. So I got a pick here on, on my. Long drafts. I have two, like four slow drafts that are also going on. Uh, so if you give me a moment, I will do this fairly quickly. Um, I need running back. The D shift already. Sorry about that. Um, oh, I was reading from the news. Okay, Cowboy. Cowboys tied in. We are better. Um, we're a better offense with Cooper. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, Davis mock 2.0 Ritter to the second quarterback off the board. Yeah, this River Ritter. I don't know if it's fake or if it's real. But he is flying up the boards right now. Alrighty, now let's get into it. Another short video today. So. Uh, Ty Freifogel, he is from in college. Indi- his college was Indiana University, hometown Lasudeo, Su- Mississippi, and he was a senior. 6'1", 204, 30 and three quarters inch arms, three nine and three fourths inch hands. So I think like a little bit above average in his measurables, pr- prospect grade. 5.68 candidate for bottom of the roster or five, practice squad and 55 below average next gen stats. Ran a 4.53, vert was 39, broad was 127. Kind of middle of the pack, nothing special. Uh, we're going to skip overview and bio. We're going to go through strengths and weaknesses. Posted 25 catches, 560 yards, six TDs in a three game span against Ohio State, Michigan, Michigan State in 2020. Adequate build-up speed working vertically. Disguises entry points and route breaks on intermediate routes. Routes are run with some rhythm, size, and strength to fend off jump ball participants. Puts defender on his hip 
and boxes him out. Full extension hands catcher gets to the ball quickly or his strikes. His weaknesses. Play in 2021 was disappointing relative to 2020. Needs to play with better suddenness in and out of breaks. Not that excited by working at, into the middle. Of the, into the middle. Catch focus on is catch focus is lacking. Needs to make better effort as a blocker. Has not proven to offer special teams value. Was wasn't there a quarterback change? So that made lead to some of it. But we're just gonna look at last past year's highlights for him. Let's make sure we actually have it on StreamYard because yesterday I or two days ago I messed up that. So let's get it going. Full screen it. Alrighty. I'll put some music in the background. Brand. I don't know what this is. Okay. Good hands catch. Good hands catch. Okay, Michigan State. Not a bad team this past year. Okay, this is a weird highlight video. We may have to watch another. Okay, that was a good, really good catch. All right. Catches well in space. Okay. I don't know who that was a pass interference on, but it must have been on one of them. Work in the middle of the field. Goes deep instead. He had a one on one and one to one v one. Good route separation there. Yeah, these are all great hands catch. Yeah, I mean, he's a great hands catcher. I wouldn't. Nothing bad to say there. Works really hard to like break the tackle. At least I haven't seen him break one yet, but works really hard to. Okay, what are we doing here? Okay, that I mean he better catch that and score a touchdown. Okay, I don't know what's going on there. Oh, he can do the gritty. That that shows to be really pertinent in the highlight film. Good catch there. And working on. I just remember them killing us every time. This guy particularly. Yeah, it works really hard to, to extend the plays. So, I mean, I wouldn't mind him on the team. He definitely can't play special teams. So that may prevent him from getting drafted. But a team that needs some players. He's not going to go to the Lions, but. I mean, look, at he's, he's doing this against top-tier talent here and all his highlights. To be fair, who knows how many of these are actual highlights. It's just the same ones repeating. Like, I've already seen that catch. Good catch. Yeah, he goes up and gets the ball in competitive catches. He also does well. I'm not like wild by these, and I'm definitely not wild by this. Uh, this thing, all right, we're just gonna skip it. He, they're not showing anything new, I think. Okay, I haven't seen these. Okay, okay, good catch, good catch in the end zone. Got caught up a little bit there. He looks like a slow version of uh, Kadarius Tony. If that makes any sense. Alrighty. Pretty much matches his draft press but prospect evaluation. Son is kicking his door. It's driving me insane. <laughs> we'll let it let it go for right now. All right, next we're going to Isaiah Weston, as I think I just said, but I'm not sure. He went to college in Northern Iowa. 
share this tab while we're doing this. Uh, Albert, Minnesota was his hometown. Albertville, I should say. Redshirt senior, 5.85 grade. Average backup or special teamer. Average player, according to that, 6'3. Okay, so we got a big kid here. 214, 32 and a quote, half inch arms. His hand size is not in the quote, nine and a half inches. Solid, solid 40. 20 on the bench press, so pretty good. Bert, pretty good. Broad jump, pretty good. So above average on his, his, his measurables. His strengths. Long body type with pro and full proportions. Flexible, fast, athletic. Uh, leverage. Leverage. Uh, uh, I forgot to share it with the, the rest of the class. Yep. Doop, doop. Alrighty. Leverages coverage to create and clean runway vertically. Build up speed is below by FCS cornerbacks. Uh, length and lift go up and swipe the, the jump ball. Displayed improvement in making contested catches. Weaknesses might need initial time to clear press corners. Route are, routes are run at monopolous tempo. Needs to locate and adjust to deep balls quicker. Too delayed in framing and body dividing up defenders. Career drop rate is a bit high. Feet need additional runway to gather and open for comebacks. All right, let's see what we got here. <coughs> we got a commercial, so we're going <coughs> to click that as soon as that's possible. All right, here we go. It's a good catch. He doesn't seem fast so far. Okay. Okay, it's a good comeback route. That's him right there. Yep. Breaks tackles. As he shouldn't in the FCS. Okay. Is that the same play I just watched? Is this going to be two very same play? Uh, okay. Burn, burn his defender. With that decent 4 4 speed, he's going to. Oh. Blew by two defenders, went up and got it because it's underthrown. See it again. Strong hands. Burning by that guy. Guy had no chance. Yeah. I mean, didn't stamp a single shot. As soon as he saw it, too, he's like, oh, okay, it's going to be open. This guy has doesn't have the same speed. Okay. Against top tier FCS talent, I guess you could say is North Dakota. I mean, I'm pretty sure they won the, the title up there. So the, all things considered, that's a that's not half bad talent and burnt the burnt the cornerbacks there and safeties. Okay, well, hold on there. Hold on there. That guy had very good tape. I, I liked it. I wouldn't say amazing tape, but good tape. So it's more interesting than tie five four goals, but both will be decent. Okay, last prospect we have today is Fellas Jones. The college went to Tennessee. Sarah, Sarah Land, Alabama. 
Redshirt senior, six foot, two oh four, thirty and seven eighths inch arms, big hands, ninety three quarters. It's five point nine three average backup or special teamer. Average uh, next gen stats. He uh, combine results four three one, so he was a blazer. Uh, mediocre vertical, mediocre broad jump. Uh, compar- NFL comparisons: Devin Duvernay. Okay, we'll see. Uh, can line up in line up inside or outside. Routes showed some improvement later in the season. Plays strength to fight through contact and worked back to ball. Uh, finishes the catch despite heavy hits by defender. Um, it's not something you actually, I don't think you'd want because that means he's can most likely get hurt. Run after catch talent is a factor, so that's good. Tears out of arm tackles and gives up body for every additional yard. I like that. Special teams wizard, determined to, as a talented kick returner. Can play gunner, average 15 yards per, ret- per punt return in 2021. Weaknesses will be 25 year old rookie. So, was he doing this because he's just a man amongst boys? Low average wingspan and catch radius. Doesn't drive hard into his routes off the snap. Unnatural stride length gives away route steps. Inefficient footwork at the top of the his routes. Only us to run basic, extremely basic routes. Sources tell us, I've never seen this one, maybe I wasn't paying attention. Really likable teammate, plays hard. He might be a make it guy with his special teams work alone. Okay. Let's share this tab instead, make sure we're on it. Okay. All right, let's take a look at Bellis Jones. Uh, hey, he's a burner. He's a burner. 4 3 shot right there. Is that a linebacker on him? Because he cannot keep up with that guy. Against Alabama, broken coverage, but I mean, I guess it's against Alabama. Kind of reminds me of Chris Conley, just kind of really fast. So it's gonna make some plays just because of his uh, his speed. Okay, let's see this. Let's see the special teams. Okay, okay. There you go. Perfect, man. Yeah, I can see it. Boom. He goes. He's breaking. He's going fast. He's going super fast. He gets going really fast, which is uh, something you need as a special teamer. You know he's running. You know he's running. Yep. He knew he had the inside route there. Broke a tackle. That's good. Touchdown. Okay. Good for him. Good for him. That was a good. That was a good run. Hard work there. I'm working on a screen here. There's a good block in front of him. There's a little bit of a hold, but it's okay. Didn't get called. Nice in route. Good good in route again. Oh, breaks one to tackle. Oh, he did get hit hard there. I don't know if that was what they were talking about. He likes to use the contact with his momentum, which is always smart. Okay. I can see him working. I think I'm have he may have a better career than Devin Duvernay. This guy's shown him a lot of speed and talent. Uh, yeah, good catch. Driving. Knew that he wasn't going to do anything else with that, so he took the guards that he could get. Could get. A 
that's that Matt Milton kid from the East by Michigan well, two years ago. Ugh. Surprise, these are getting completed. Okay, good hands catch there. Two broken tackles. Driving, driving. Don't know what happened there, but he gave up his body. Oh, boy. Oh. Did he get in? Oh, man. Good effort, though. Yeah, not the greatest tackle breaker, but like really good. Hey, walk right back. See, his speed must be deceptive because it didn't look like he was running too hard there, and they were all. What was that by the punter? Okay. Good blocks too. Oh, he's gone. You're not catching him. Oh, he did push him out. Unfortunate. How much we got of this highlight? It's almost over. Okay. Good. If he does that in the NFL, I just see him getting lit up. He won't do that more than a few times. Oof. You know, no fear to go across the middle. I don't know what the rest of this team is doing, but they're like lollygagging. This guy wants every yard. Nice. Use his speed to get through it. He's got blockers, he finds them, and just blows by everybody. He uses his speed to, which you're not going to be able to do in the NFL, he uses his speed to try to get away as fast as he can. He does really well with these curl routes. Is that it? That was a lot of fun to watch versus some of the other ones. If you want to close that out, bring me back up. Uh, my schedule is posted on Twitter. Uh, tomorrow um, is uh, rookie and sophomores draft, and then and then we'll be rocking out with some. Oh shoot. I've been missing part of this draft. Ugh. Anyways, uh, rookie sophomore drafts, and then uh, some of those ones. Day. Then Thursday, we're doing three running backs. And then Friday, uh, some Zamboni and some rookie, I think, drafts. I don't know. It's posted on my Twitter. If you want to find out more, please go follow me there. And That'll be the best way so you can get the information. Hold on, I'm making some picks here. There we go. Um, uh, if you follow me there, you get all the information and all my thoughts and other stuff. I typically, just post on Twitter. Instagram has some photos of me. It's uh, tcastro1988 on there. Crying Buffalo on Twitter. Uh, it's uh, I haven't made any posts on. TikTok, but that one is Best Ball Nation. So if you want to follow any of my socials, they will not be linked down below yet because I haven't got to that part yet. And i probably do that soon, but not yet. Um, anything else? Let's see here. Let's cut this music for a second. Uh, drawing a blank. Uh, yeah. Uh, I have a lot of thoughts on Eric and Rob's uh, opinions of what the DraftKings and all them should be as well. I always have lots of opinions, though. That's why I decided to do my own show because I've got a lot of stuff to say. And uh, after the rookies are all done talked about, I will go on a daily thing and talk about 
what's on my mind, what's what's going on, you know, around the around Best Ball Nation. I'll I'll probably take some notes and I'll talk about it on my own stream just to just to talk about it. Because I like to talk. It is who I am. And I love it. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good evening, good nights, good morning. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Have a great day, y'all.